everyone, I am Mecha Random 42, your favorite YouTube harpy, and we have another Captain Marvel TV spot. Oh, this one's called Ready. Ready for what? Re ready to... I, I don't know. I, I guess I'll be ready to watch the trailer. <laughs> oh, boom, put it there. Oh, let's go. Let's, let's get ready. Oh, this is the airplane again. And she can play baseball. And, and she knows how to be a soldier. And she knows karate. That's not karate. And she can fly an airplane. And, and she can be the bestest I'm ever. Done with you telling me what I can't do. Okay. You're telling me what I can't do. Captain Marvel. PG thirteen. That looks so bad. That looks so bad. Also. That was a good thing. I want to watch that now. Thanks. Go, go subscribe to Mindy. Minty Comedic Arts. He's actually a really good channel. Since he popped up in my thing. And my autoplay. I should probably turn that off when I'm making videos. This trailer doesn't look good. This looks so... It, 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 it reminds me of like... All the Mary Sue characters that we just don't want to see any more at least me i don't want to see any more of these mary sue here let, let, let's let's go back and look at some of these frames so yeah okay we can see she can fly the plane right it's a jet it's not an airplane but still and she can play baseball and she can do martial arts and and, and she can do just everything absolutely everything all the time because she's so wonderful and amazing it's not believable. I know she's supposed to be a superhero, but it gets a little, it gets a little annoying. I mean, nobody wants, nobody wants a movie of the pretty girl cheerleader. She's like the head cheerleader with the perfect hair, perfect teeth, perfect skin. Daddy's got money, so she's got a perfect car. And she's dating the, the, the football player and, and she's like the, the prom queen and she's like I said, she's the head cheerleader, prom queen, uh, president of, of the student council. Nobody wants a movie of that girl. You want a movie of the girl who's getting bullied by that girl or, or looking up to that girl, trying to be that girl. Are you fucking stupid? <sighs> Are you fucking stupid, Marvel? Nobody wants this sort of character. I don't want this sort of character. You know, we, we want Molly Ringwald making making her dresses, uh, uh, you know, getting dresses from the thrift store to try and get the boy from the, the good side of the tracks, you know, the rich boy. We want to root for those sort of characters. I'm from the 80s. I'm sorry. I know this shit. I'm surprised filmmakers who set this in the 90s don't know that. Even in the 90s, you still had people like that. Um, God, Reality Bites is probably a pretty good example. Or I guess singles, don't they have like the, the less than perfect people? No, the, the point is, every 80s movie, every 80s movie, like the, 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 the character that was always the bitch was this person. You know, they they were they were always seriously they were always like the bitch. They were they were always like the rich girl who was bullying the nerds or the losers. Or it's like, did did you guys ever see like Lucas pump up the volume? Um, Heather's every fucking eighties movie ever made. Every eighties movie ever made. This is why you don't write these sort of characters. This is why Ray isn't successful. This is why Michael Burnham isn't successful on Star Trek. Those, those, are, those are the people that have it all, that the normal people like us don't have it all, right? We, we don't. We want somebody we can relate to. We don't want the, the we, we don't want to identify. This, this is why, okay, this is why Cobra Kai works so well. Because we see Johnny Lawrence kind of down on his luck, out of money, drunk in, in a shitty apartment or something. He, he doesn't have everything. And Ralph Macchio is now the guy with the car dealership and the big rich house and the rich neighborhood with the beautiful wife and his life and everything's together. And this is why we're rooting for Johnny Lawrence and this is why it works. It's sticking to the 80s formula that you guys seem to forget. Oh, fuck. This, this is exactly what's wrong with Captain Marvel, and this is why she's not going to be a likable character, because Brie Larson is that pretty, skinny, rich girl that no one likes. 
She's mean. She's phony. She she is mean spirited. She she wants to she wants to do charity work only to promote her movie, not because it's the right goddamn thing to do with that GoFundMe thing. She she wants to tweet out pictures of of, of herself being sympathetic to Stan Lee's passing that are more about her name on her fucking Louis Vuitton purse and her goddamn shoes than it was about Stan Lee. She is the rich bitch that we don't like in every 80s movie. <sighs> what, what do you guys think? Am I right about this? Do, is this part of why? Did I hit something like just on a ranch just off the top of my head? Because, because like uh, during my 20,000 sub live stream, by the way, thank you guys so much for tuning into that. We were talking about 80s movies a little bit. We were talking about like The Breakfast Club, for example. And I was the girl who people thought of, like of Ali Sheedy. You know, I was the quiet girl who didn't really say a lot. I had long hair probably in my face. Those are the characters that are interesting, you know, the little side characters. Molly Ringwald's character in The Breakfast Club was was interesting, even though she was the rich bitch, because she was so flawed. She was horrendously flawed. And that was the the reason why that movie worked so well. You know, because you have you you needed that that dynamic. And and who who we were rooting for in this movie? The fucking cat. We're rooting for the goddamn cat in, in this Captain Marvel movie. Because there is no everyday girl. There is no girl next door to root for. You got the rich bitch on screen with the perfect hair, perfect body. You know, even though she doesn't have an ass, she's skinny, which is what the perfect body is in Hollywood. You know, she's she's the perfect Hollywood type that, that likes to put down men in any chance she gets. Like, seriously. <sighs> So what, what, what do you guys think? <laughs> Tell me your thoughts of this trailer. Th six minutes for a 30 second trailer. But no, I, th I think I'm onto something with this. I really think that she might be that pretty rich girl that we don't like. She, she's the she's the bully in all the 80s movies. And and I don't want to see that in a movie. What do, you, what, do you, what do you guys want? You want to see that in a movie? Hail, Hail Goose the Cat. He's kind of the most interesting thing in the movie. But yeah, they, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next video or live stream. Bye!